everyone, it's Mike Wise with Capstone Direct Mortgage and I am here with your weekly update. And this week, what a wild ride we went on with the bond market. So uh, last week we started to see interest rates trend up and then all of a sudden this week they were pulling the rates down, pulling the rates down and then the Fed talked. <laughs> the Fed came out, basically they didn't say much, but that they were going to do something at the end of March uh, as far as rates are concerned. So that was not the biggest thing. We kind of knew that that was coming, uh, but I was expecting them to say, you know, they're going to move a quarter or a half a point or something or actually do something right now today and increase the rates. <clears throat> but they didn't say much about that. That didn't move the market that much. But what really moved the market and started to send rates higher was that they're going to start to really back off or slow down, reduce the size of the balance sheet at the Fed. And so that is a bigger deal and is actually going to bring rates uh, higher. So we're all ready for this. They, there's some people that say that the, 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 the Fed is going to increase rates by 100 basis points uh, during this year, 2022. Um, so we'll see. I, I, again, I don't see rates like moving up too much. They don't want to mess up with the economy here. And um, I, I think that, you know, there's a lot of things that the Fed has to do to kind of thread the needle to make sure that they do what they're supposed to do to keep the economy rolling, interest rates at a, at a good level, low inflation and all those things. So they have a pretty difficult job right now at this point in time, but uh, we'll see how they come out of it. I still seem to think that we're going to run into some type of recession later in the year where they're going to ha actually have to lower interest rates. Uh, in the meantime, one of the things I want to talk to you about is appraisals. Appraisals are, uh, they're coming in and they're still, you guys are, the, the because of the lack of inventory, your buyers are coming in at prices above the list price. And sometimes we have strategies that will allow you to, if the appraisal comes in low, lower than the purchase price, where we can help you determine what the best scenario is for you. So there's gap insurance for the, uh, for the appraisals. And so what that means is that if it comes in low, then we may actually go, instead of putting 20% down, you put 15% down and you might get mortgage insurance. That's one strategy. So we don't want you to just have to come in with the difference on those appraisals when they come in low. And so we work with you. We have different strategies that'll help you with your appraisals uh, if they do come in low. So I'm Mike Wise with Capstone Direct Mortgage and I will be around this weekend. Give me a call on my cell phone. If you need me, text me. Uh, my information is below. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.